the time for the International Visitors Program in South Africa. Alleluia Ministries International has arrived. I urge each and every pastor, minister, bishop, AMI disciple, ambassador to come forth and answer to the call of our Father, the great Alf Lukau. Your place is on the altar of the Lord. Your Father has heard from the Lord and we are responding to the call. I invite each and every disciple out there to make it to the IVP. It's time to plan its preparation time. Get your ticket, register online on www.alleluiaministries.com. I pray you will not miss this opportunity. He who has an ear, may he hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I believe sincerely in the call of God and my Father, and I do know that he will never call a meeting unless God has called him. And I also know that God will never call a meeting and not appear. The appearance of God is your portion. Come to the IVP from the 25th of October up till the 29th of October. And do remember, it's celebration time at the same time. On the 25th of October, we will celebrate the birthday of our prophet, the great Alf Lukau, your Moses and my Moses. From me, Bishop J, Shalom, and God bless you. See you on the altar of God. This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Alleluia Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in scripture, his power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Hallelujah. It's time to worship Jesus. Amen. And we always stand in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Be exalted, King of Kings. Be exalted, Lord of Lords. My fortress. In you I find my peace. In you I find my strength. You are my fortress. You are my hiding place. Oh, Jesus.
your presence, Lord. We bow before your throne.
Put your hands together. Yeah.
is good all the time. God is good. God is so good all the time. Let's put our hands together like this. Walls. I don't buy now. 
Still stay. 
of his goodness we thank you oh God for being in the midst of us because when you upload the praises of God you got to get the PDF of God which it comes down in the blessings of God only when we set it up the blessings come down and sit on each one of us hallelujah hallelujah can we give it up one more time for the reason why we're here to meet the lord of lords the king of kings the alpha the omega the beginning and the end the everlasting god the uncreated creator the one where you have come today to have your divine encounter i already feel and see the angels all over this atmosphere they come today with healings in their wing for you they've come for deliverance they've come to impart and set you on fire like never before because we have come as sons and daughters of our flu cow in this end time revolution to take over until jesus returns amen hallelujah and if you are seated right now i would ask that you get up on your feet because right now we are going to reverence we're going to give glory we're going to thank god for the set apostle the prophet of this end time revolution our moses our general in the army of god our father al flukel my father your father those of you that are home stand up in honor our father king Uh, my father i venerate you but right next to you is the only rib of my father the only blessings of my father the only wife of my father our mother Bill celeste luca let me hear you give a holy ghost praise Bishop Celeste Luca, I just want to thank God for you. I thank God that you are the pillow where our Father can rest his head. You are the pillar and the comfort for our Father. Bishop Celeste, when I look at your marriage, I can see what you and our Father is doing. That is the preparation for the body of Christ for us to really see a heavenly marriage on earth. Thank you, Bishop Celeste Luca, for allowing us to see a godly marriage, preparing us for the groom, Christ Jesus, return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mom and Dad, we love you. We thank you from our innermost being. If it was not for your sacrificial life of staying on your knees, all of us here in this auditorium would have failed to make it today. We would have failed to step into our divine destiny. So we just want to say we love you, we honor you, and we thank the God of our Father for everything you're doing in our lives. Mommy, Daddy, we love you. Pastor Lance, I don't know about you, but I can feel it all through the ether, all in the atmosphere, the fire that's about to come down during this special conference, during this time that we get to be in the presence of God. We're coming up on our daddy's birthday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have three more days to celebrate. The man of God, the set man of God that God has placed over you and my life for the set time. God has put a man that is walking as man in God for such a time as this. Amen. So we thank God in the next three days. We will celebrate our Father. Amen. And there's been a clarion call for those of us to come from all over the world, from every walk in every nation.
preparation for the FIRE conference that will be taking place on the 25th to the 29th right here at the Hallelujah. altar of Golgotha. We call you to come from the north, the south, the east, and the west to join us as we will celebrate, as we will re set on fire like Hallelujah. never before yeah. to take over for Jesus. You will have your divine encounter. It is guaranteed. We are in the prophetic house with the set man of God. The happenings that are about to take place. My body is vibrating from the excitement Ooh. and from the power of the spirit. Oh Hallelujah. my goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Family, you may take your seats. Amen. If you are here for the first, first time visiting us, I want you to stand on your feet. If you're here for the very first time, Hallelujah. I would like you to rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. And the ushers are going to give you a first time attendance card. Hallelujah. I want you to fill it out in its entirety and give it back to one of the ushers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you all over the auditorium. And we welcome those that are joining us online all across the world. On Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on our very own AMI TV. We say welcome. Press like. Share this message. You don't want your friends and families to miss out on what's about to take place right here today at this altar. AMI TV. We love you. From across the globe, we welcome you with the love of our Father and our Mother in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, it is time for the announcements. Catch Pastor Arthur Lacan live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the Word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Abdulkam will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Abdulkam from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Abdulkam, on Instagram, still Abdulkam, and on Twitter, the handle is at Abdulkam. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Abdulkam. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Arf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589, every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor Arf Lukau is now on Soweto TV, Channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Dear Beloved, we are pleased to inform our first-time visitors that registering online to become an AMI member has just become easier. Our simplified process will guide you through registration in just three simple steps. Please use the QR code to ensure an easy and efficient registration process. Follow this step-by-step -step guide through the process of scanning the QR code, filling in your details, and successfully registering online. Step 1. Scan the QR code. Please open the camera or a QR code scanner app and scan the code for our online registration form. Step 2. Fill in your details. Please ensure that all information provided in your registration is truthful and accurate. Before submitting your application, kindly review the details you have entered to ensure that no information is missing. Step 3. Click Submit and you are done. Thank you for joining the AMI family. We are excited to have you on board. At AMI, we strive to maintain accurate records to keep you informed of our latest offers and important updates. Therefore, it is crucial to provide us with your complete details. For the benefit of the various visiting internationals from across the world, there are no limits. 
The degree to which you will connect during this highly spiritual moment is the degree to which you will see God move in your life. The physical world we see is formed and controlled by the spiritual world. As such, God has given governance and spiritual authority to his prophets who govern their prophetic office and have access to and dominion over physical activities. With the ability to foretell the future, the destiny of their people, seeing the private hidden things pertaining to their lives. We see this is exemplified in Elijah in 2 Kings 6 verse 12, when he hears the secret military strategies were spoken of in King Aram's bedroom. This divine energy to see and hear private happenings in the quarters of high-ranking national leaders is an ability still honed by a prophet in his prophetic office. Given the mandate by God to govern over nations and kingdoms, this prophet is Alf Luko. There is one such prophet with whom God has entrusted us with the governing power and unhindered clarity of sight over nations and kingdoms in this world. Pastor Alf Luko has received divine instructions from the throne room. This October from 25th to the 29th be part of the International Visitors Program IDB. As a place where visitors come from most parts of the world to experience the tangible presence of the Lord Jesus in a manner unlike any other place on earth. From 25th to the 29th October 2023 at AMI, 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Johannesburg, South Africa. There will be an explosion of wonders and testimonies in every area of your life. You will receive healing, blessings and great financial breakthrough. Your life is about to become a testimony. A place where divine energy will be shared with each one of the guests. For God to give us a man whom he has allowed to see beyond what the mind and heart can comprehend is a priceless gift to be cherished. A man with unreveled spiritual vigor and yet displays in his flesh a heavenly dynamic of humility and forthrightness. His grace, Alf Luko. Beloved, this IVP is prophetically called by God. Register now at www.alleluiaministries.com or call plus 2711-443-5705. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's Wilton page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options namely PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with credit card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information. And finally, click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. 
Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. From the back of the auditorium, may you rise on your feet and give the King of Kings a standing ovation for He deserves all the glory, He deserves all the honor, He deserves all the act adoration. He deserves all the exaltation. He is the Most High God. There is no God beside Him. Can I have a witness in the house of God? He is the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the one who's about to do it in your life. And if you're ready for Jesus to do it for you, can you make a Holy Ghost noise unto the Lord? Give the Lord the praise. Glory to Jesus. This is AMI. If you're here for the first time and you're wondering what's happening, well, hallelujah means giving God the highest of praise. Somebody make a Holy Ghost noise once more in the house of God. Give Him praise. And I want you to welcome the person of the Holy Ghost who's about to do something glorious, who's about to do something magnificent, who's about to come and drop in your hands that what you have been waiting for. And we are here because of a man who has given his life, who has sacrificed his life. Our man of God, my father, my prophet, my apostle, my navigating system, the man who picked me from the dustbin and brought me into the greatness of God. I don't have a witness in the house. That means somebody's jealous. If you're jealous, celebrate my father. There's not the time to be jealous because what's about to happen when it gets in here depends on how you will celebrate the gift that God has given us. The man of God who did not see what everybody else saw. I had many tags on my forehead. I had a prostitute name on my forehead. I had a cheap lady on my forehead. I had a one who was too naked when I came to church. But you know what? The man of God saw what you're seeing right now. All he saw is what Jesus saw. And he has given me the same grace. The same grace that when I meet somebody, I see what God has placed in that person. Because he did it for me, I do it freely. Somebody celebrate the greatest apostle alive. The apostle of the last days. The man of God with a mission who understands his assignment and who will never give in to the enemy. I want you to celebrate God for our man of God whom the world celebrate, but you're gonna celebrate him better. You're gonna celebrate him better. What you do not celebrate will exit your life. What you do not celebrate, you will never be a partaker of. Celebrate the grace of God on our Father's life. Men of God, I honor you. I must take a breath. I love you. I submit to you. I am committed to the cause that God has called you to. Because I know my calling is in your calling. My anointing is in your anointing. My strength is in your strength. I come in humble submission and I just honor and reverence who you are in God. You're just the greatest of the greatest of the greatest. Celebrate my father. Celebrate him, AMI. And if you're online, you may stand where you are in your house and give God also the praise. And I want to celebrate God for the only first lady. Many calls them first ladies, but she's the only one. She's the only one that, is, that the man looked at and said, this one, she's not going to pass me by. I'm, I'm, I'm hooking her up for life. Bishop Celeste, I love you. I miss you. I am, think I'm one of the most hopeful ones that I'm going to see you. I was really expecting to see you, but I know I'm still going to see you. Somebody celebrate God for the mother of this house, the only wife of Elf Lukau, the woman of God who is a prophetic intercessor. When she's interceding on her knees, the Lord speaks prophetically to her. Not every first lady is like that. So you better celebrate my mother better than that. 
Put your hands together as we stretch our hands towards the screen. Mommy, you are blessed. Your children are blessed. The works of your hands are blessed. Your marriage is blessed. Your children are blessed. Everything pertaining, everything pertaining your life is blessed. I love you to the moon and back. You may be seated in the house of God as we celebrate God for the IEC. General Wiseman, Makasala, Bishop Stefan um, Aduya and Bishop Shepherd Gwenzi. Put your hands together for our International Executive Council, the extension of our Father. Well, I'm here for a short announcement, and that is to just tell somebody, if you obey the principles set on the earth by God, you are about to receive a great surprise as we welcome every pastor, every minister, every disciple online. God bless you. I want to just... Um, reiterate what our father said this morning because it really moved me. He said, your giving should be your worship. It can be high, very high, or it can be low. Your giving should seal what you believe you have received. If you believe you have received that which God has promised you financially, spiritually, in your breakthrough, in your health, your sealing or your seed will show us that you have received it. May the sacrifice of your giving truly represent your worship. And the man of God said this, and I think I will quote it everywhere I have a status. And that's maybe just on WhatsApp, that's where I have a status. The spiritual realm is like a garden where most of our receiving, where most of our receiving comes with it, does not depend on God anymore, but it depends on the principles that he has said. Meaning, your sowing depends on your revelation of the principles set by God. God is not going to be moved anymore. God is not going to move anymore. But you will move the hand of God. The man of God made a simple illustration, but yet such a powerful one. He says, as it is in the natural realm where a farmer plants a seed, he plants and he harvests. And the man of God says, it doesn't depend on God anymore. This is the greatest revelation I've received yet in offering. That it does not depend on God. My wealth does not depend on God. My blessing does not depend on God. My riches does not depend completely on God. It depends in the seed that I sow in the ground and I begin to harvest. So the hand that sows is the hand that harvests. And you need to sow according to what God wants us to sow. What is it that you're expecting from God today? I want us to take out that offering, that seed that you have planned, that you have put together, that you have trusted God for. And I want you to sow it into the most fertile ground. And that is the altar of God in Alleluia Ministries. I want you to lift your hands and lift up your seed as we are about to give. We also have our tithing offerings ready, um, envelopes ready, and the ushers and pastors who are ready to hand it out. If you need a tithing envelope, may I see your hand? Ushers are ready to give it out. We are receiving the tithe next Sunday. On the 29th, am I right? On the 29th. And we are also receiving our first fruit on the 29th and on the 5th of October. But if you are here this week, the prophet is in the house. He will release that blessing over your house as you have planted the seed and you're going to harvest. And the man of God will then seal it. Now, now sorry, we also have the birthday envelope celebrations on Wednesday somebody say Wednesday it is the his grace King AL's birthday uh, don't be jealous we're coming to honor God we're gonna bring a seed of high honor unto the man of God plan it don't put a seed on the altar that doesn't make sense do not swipe 
and then it bounces back. But plan it. Be intentional about the seed. Because this is your seed. In the earthly realm, there are people that when you sow in, you reap a harvest immediately. I'm one of those people that have identified this type of a ground my father is in. I've tried and I've tested it just by getting a bottle of water for my father to drink. The Lord will bless me with thousands. Just water. Just common water. I know the ground that you're about to give in will pro produce a harvest that you have been waiting for. So I want you, if you also need an envelope, please put up your hand. The ushers are ready. And us online, you may now make sure that you use the correct banking details that are on the screen. May the Lord bless you as you give. And um, God bless you. May you lift your seed as the, off the ushers were about to offer to receive it. Father, we bless you. Every hand lifted, O oh God. Father, touch the root, O oh God. The root where there are problems, where there are struggles. Father, remember their seed, O oh God. And may the seed that is in their hands, O oh God, be the seed, O oh God, that will be able to reap a harvest. Father, bless every hand giving online and on site. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, you may now give unto the Lord.
compromise your value your faith in the presence of other you put small in the pocket when people go to your social media account they cannot tell you're a child of god Jesus. you do your best your utmost best to hide your faith mm. there are people who have been with you for years they do not know how deep your covenant goes i will not die for the cause if the lord wants me to be crucified i will say puts my head down like peter but i'm not compromising the man the steward was concerned that if you don't eat what comes from the king you cannot have a good life you cannot have a good stand you don't look good just as they tell those young people the young people in the university compromise so you may fit in you will be outdated if you do not do like we do if you do not come where we go every saturday night you will not pass as a young girl from class to class if you do not compromise a little you will not have a promotion at work if you do not trade your body the times when the winds blows too strong and it feels what the disciples felt waking jesus cross up don't you care that we are perishing no matter what happens your god never loses control i was saved nothing escapes the control of god a man who trusts in god will always be higher when all this is over mm. you cannot be compared to those who compromised just wait the test will become a testimony the demotion will turn into a promotion a disappointment into a new appointment in god a mess into a message just wait If you are here and your name is Okukle, 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 and I'm hearing Masoma Lele, it is like you are married to a man, a good man, I see. But I need to pray for you because your womb is a farm. Allow me to deal with that devil. He cannot get it his way. Your womb, they made your womb a farm. They take from your womb for their interest. Jesus. Somebody say no more. No more. Oh, quickly, come. In the name of Jesus. Come, come. Come, come. Oh, quickly. Don't make me wait. Come. Zeraba holobo shiarababa. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. We are prophetic. Celebrate the Lord. You see, I saw you in the Holy Ghost just as you are. And I hear Okukle. And I also heard. Are you a teacher? I ask again, are you a teacher? Yes, Papa, I'm a great art teacher. You are a great art teacher? Yes, Papa. Before I pray for you, did you tell me your story? No, Papa. Now, I say this so you may have confidence that everyone here also may have the same confidence. That we may join our faith with no doubt that God is God enough to do what he say he will do. Right. The Lord has spoken to me. I know exactly what is happening in your family. In details, in details, more than any one of you. I know who is doing who, what. Jesus. And I'm stepping in. Glory to Jesus. 
Mm. Masumalele. What's that? Yes, he's my husband, Papa. He's your husband? Yes, Papa. He's in construction? Yes, Papa. He's now, a company. Sorry? He has a construction company. He has his own construction company. Yes, Papa. Your husband is a good man. And you and your husband should remain strong together. You had gone through a lot of wins, I see. And that these have nothing to do with you. I can tell you, as we were celebrating the coming of the world to South Africa for the World Cup, 2010. In 2010, you got married. Yes, Papa. Is that correct? Yes, Papa. In the same 2010, somebody went where he's supposed not to go with what you have they took off your clothes you that you know we being in honeymoon they said this one will be ours but emma emma shia your womb has been a form of evil oh jesus 2012 i see you Carrying a child, you gave birth to a baby girl. Yes, Papa. But the child did not survive later. Yes, Papa. The child died. Yes, Papa. You say, let's try again in 2013. <laughs> I see you carrying a child. This time I am seeing a baby boy. You give birth to your child. Where is the child now? Died. The child died. Every time you cry, they celebrated. Your tears has been their juice. They have found pleasure in your pain. I see in 2020, you caring by the pregnancy I see you in with is bigger than the previous two. You gave birth to twins. Yes, boy, boy and a, girl. a boy and a girl. Yes. Premature babies. Yes, I see that you wait in the hospital with them. Is that correct? Yes, Papa. But I'm seeing you coming out of the hospital only with one. Where did you leave the other? <laughs> She died while in the hospital. The girl died. Yes, Papa. You came out with the boy. Yes, Papa. But later on, they took the boy also. The devil is so wicked. Oh, Jesus. Why? You lost your twins. So your life has been burial and cry. Burial and cry. Oh, Jesus, I'm have mercy, oh God. Have I am mercy. upset. I am mad. Jesus. Laho shikete baho. Four children stolen. You can't be seated. No, you can't be mm. seated. Oh God! Show up in power, oh God. Whoever is doing this. I'll tell you who's doing it and I'll deal with her. If she does not repent, it's a problem. God is a merciful God. He gives us mercy.
lift your hands. Say, Karobozo, devil. May God punish the devil. In the name of Jesus. Well, thank you, Jesus, for restoration. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Thank you, Lord, that this time, oh, God, this Get time, oh, God, shall be different. Get out! In the name of Jesus. Freedom! In Jesus' name. Look, I appreciate the fact that you are still, you are teaching is a good thing. Teaching young children is a good thing. Um, it's like a bracket nest primary school yes. in Alberton. Yes. It's good. I say it's good, but it's not for long. You're going back home. Jesus. While you are here, while you do the right things, that's packing. Because God, I see the road is turning. The first will become the last, and the last will become the first. Glory to God Jesus. God has remembered you. I bless you. Receive it. In Jesus' name. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arv Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arv Lukau on all social media platforms at Arv Lukau. We are in His presence. And that is the only place that we long to be, we live to be, we want to be, and we want to remain. In your presence, in your presence,
Oh my God is
Hallelujah. May the name of the Lord be glorified. The God who is God by himself. Amen. The Lord highly exalted above the circle of the earth. Amen. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. We believe he's our source. We derive from him and in him we stand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, get ready for something good is about to happen to I receive it. Here. And now, if you do not mind, I want you to please find five neighbors and give them, give them high five of the miracles. As you welcome them, allow me to welcome those of you across the globe. May the Lord bless you. You're welcome. All our branches, shalom to you. Hallelujah. Well, you can hear from my voice that I've been praying and seeking the face of God. And I believe that something extreme is about to happen. I receive it. Something wonderful. Something extraordinary. Don't be jealous now. The winner in the house. Oh, yes. Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She not know what will happen to him this week. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We begin today a different week. It's a week of the IVP. Yes. It is an outstanding week. The glory and the power of God will be our portion. In the name of Today, will soak ourselves in his glory. Mm. If there is a man to pray, there is there a God, is a God, to, God answer. to answer. Hallelujah. See, God is looking for a man mm. who will put everything aside and lay himself on the altar as a living sacrifice to become a conduit, a vessel, an instrument used by God for his people. I stay on my knees that you may leave standing and pushing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, ministries. Are you here? Across the globe, AMI, are you here? We are here, man of God. We are AMI. We are prophetic. Hey, um, we are apostolic. We are. Apostolic. We are AMI. This is a house of miracles. In this house, 
Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you lift your hands as high as you can get? Heavenly Father, we bless you. We bless you for the privilege that we have today to go through your word. Lord, it is our prayer that you do according to your will. Yes. Lord, we have come expectant. We expect your hand upon our lives. We expect that you do something that no one can do for us. Those of us who are here physically present and those of us online, wherever we are, in our branches, in our homes, we trust you. So we want to believe, God, that you will do what only you can do. Lord, how do you expect me to do this? Jesus. On my knees, I had asked you, Lord, while laying prostrate in your presence, I asked. In my time of cry, and I ask, Lord, how do you expect me to do this? Jesus. Take over, all God. See through my eyes. Hear through my ears. Speak through my mouth. Touch with power through my hands. Zimahale Sorobo Halabasete. Lord, this generation needs to see your glory. This generation needs to see your power. Yes, Master. Break the chains again. Heal the sick again. Mm. Exalt your people again. Restore lives again. In the name of Bring Jesus. a reformation in the church again. Oh Lord. Bring revival again. Yes, Lord. I speak unto you, O oh God, in the mercies of the cross, and that you remember your people today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. go to the word of God. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. It is uh, great to see those who came from overseas getting ready for the week ahead of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are here from Europe, will you stand? You are from Europe, will you stand? You came. Oh, my precious daughters. Glory to God Jesus. You. God bless you. God, my son, God bless you all the way from Europe. I see the United States is already here. You come from America. Please stand up. Stand up. God bless you. Hallelujah. America is already here. I see Mandura is here. Australia. Hallelujah. Australia. Love you. If you are from outside South Africa and you came in preparation for next week, Wherever you are, will you stand? Will you stand? Glory God to you. Jesus. God bless you. Jamaica is here. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, city. God is just an amazing God. God is a good God. Amen. God is a gracious God. Hallelujah. Will you kindly look at the person next to you and say, step forward. Step forward. This is the theme of the presentation of the Word of God mm. that I have for you. As it sounds, it is not just a title, a theme, or a topic. It is the breath of God, an instruction from God. The sound of it reveals it's prophetic element. This is a call for action. God is uh, calling somebody to do something that will activate what he intends to do in return. Jesus. Now, wherever you are, as a simple instrument and vessel of God, may I articulate to you in the best way I can that your time is now. I receive it. <laughs> I don't know how many people Jesus. heard this word from God, 
But if you are here and you believe that he has spoken to you, please understand your time is it's now. now. I receive it. Some of you waited for this time to happen the whole year to now. But I'm here to prophesy and declare and decree over you that your time is, is now. now. Somebody receive it. It is now. Uh, you see the difficulties that some of you have faced just to get here, to be here, shows the desperation the enemy had in stopping you mm. from getting where you had to get. But the devil is a liar. Oh yes, he's a liar. Your time is now. Is now. Oh, find it. Never give him a high five. Confirming that your time is now. Your time, your time is now. Your time is now. Your time is now. Your time is now. <laughs> Thou time has come. That time has come. Mm -hmm. I receive it. Hallelujah. Well, if you may, please read with me from the book of Mark. We read chapter 3 from verse 1. At the count of 3, join me, we read from verse 1 to verse 6. 1, 2, 3. And he entered the synagogue again, and a man was there who had a withered hand. So they watched him closely whether he would heal him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, step forward. Then he said to them, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they kept silent. And when he had looked around at them with anger, being grieved by the hardness of their hearts, he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out. And his hand was restored as whole as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and immediately plotted with the Herodians against him how they might destroy him. The devil is angry. Mm -hmm. He's plotting. <laughs> He's speaking. He's trying. He's ganging. But devil, your reign of terror is over. Is well, this is a remarkable story. The Bible says Jesus Christ went to the synagogue. Now, a synagogue was a set place for teaching. It is what we would call today an equivalent to a house of worship, a house known as the local church. So whatever is happening here is unfolding, not in the marketplace, but in the synagogue. Mm. There are certain stuff that needs to be dealt with even within those who come to the house of God. I just don't know about you, but some of us come to the house of God hungry, we come thirsty. Yes. We do not necessarily come to show our shoes. We do not necessarily come to fight for chairs. Yes. We come because we need God. A soul is crying and say, Lord, I need you now. I need you today. Tomorrow is too far. I just feel like coming down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, while I come down now, I have this in my hand, just in the bracket. This is a pin that we have. This pin is not just for identification, but this is more than that. We use it, I use it, we all use it as a point of contact. It is made in Europe, in Paris, by the finest jewelry you can have. It is beautiful, it is valuable, but beyond that, it is spiritual. Yes. 
It is spiritual. So those of you who can have it, please have it. And that those who have it, please use it. Yes. Use it as often as you can. As you go out, but even sometimes as you go back in. Someone sent me a photo of a baby on whose clothes they had put this because the child was unwell. And sent me another photo of the same child playing. Say, a miracle took place. Jesus. Everywhere you go, let that devil see Amen. that you have a guardian on your altar. Yes. That you are connected to the right altar. Yes. The world may not understand everything, but remember the prophetic operate with uh, symbols. Symbols. Mm -hmm. Water baptism is a symbol. Holy communion is a symbol. We call it the bread, but they call it in the word, the body. We call it in life, the wine, but in the spirit they call it the blood. Symbolic. The Lord bless you. Amen. 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 Now on the screen we read from the first verse, the Bible says that Jesus Christ entered the synagogue again and a man was there. Is there anybody here? This man who was there had a withered hand. Whatever we're reading, ladies and gentlemen, has to do with somebody who came to the synagogue with his challenge. For those who think that because we are in the house of God, we are perfect, please understand, we are not yet there. Yes. We come to church because we are hungry. We come to church because we are thirsty. We come to church because we understand our limits. We understand our shortfalls and we understand our imperfection. Sometimes the world gets too harsh on judging us. How is it that you go to church and you still struggle? Yes. If you understood the reason why I come to this altar, you understand that you are accusing me for the very thing I'm trying to get God revise and change in my life. When you are out there and you do not know what to do, come to the house of God. Receive it. That there is literally no better place to be than in the house of God. You are crying out there, come to the house of God. You have lost your mind. It seems like the world is, uh, your world is breaking down. Come to the house of God. This is a place for the sick. This is a place for the imperfected. This is a place for those with shortfalls, those with addictions. This is a place for those who have committed too many abortions and do not know if they will ever carry a baby anymore. This is a place for those who are messed up. Here we come with our mess that it may turn our mess into a message. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So don't judge me when you see me in church. My presence doesn't mean that I'm perfect, that I've arrived. No, my presence is a signal of my will and my understanding that what I cannot do for myself, I need him and he will not oh, do God. for me. Please understand that. And also please understand that I, I do not just come to church to make friends. It is by the way that we came to know each other on the corridors by the lobby and we changed number. You must understand, it is a by the way. You are not the reason why I came here. Mm. We just met here. We happen to be seated one next to another. I came for Jesus. Oh, yes. So if you see me scream, leave me alone. Do, 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 do not judge me. Glory to Jesus. Don't, don't become too controlling, too possessive, that I'm making noise, that I'm screaming loud, that my movement is unbecoming. If you cannot handle me, find yourself another seat. Oh, yes. I am, I will go on. Can you look at a person next to you and say, can you handle me? Can you handle me? Can you handle me? Because I intend to cry today. I intend to scream today. I intend to jump today. I will allow the Spirit of God to take me. Can you handle me?
Can you? This is the word of God. The Bible said this man came and Jesus found him in the synagogue. That's why those who have the privilege to minister and to sing and to stand on the altars should, must understand this is no place for performance. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't just come up here and sing a song because I want to introduce you an album. Who cares about your album? Give me some good worship. Yes. But the Bible said the time is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. This is a place to exhibit your eloquence. I'm, I'm eloquent. I want them to know how good mm -hmm. I speak. We, we have issues. Big ones. We have issues that your English cannot help us with. Yeah. Preach it, my father. Give me God. Somebody say, give me God. Give me God. Uh, give me God. Give, give me, God. me God. Oh, well, I'm better than him. I'm better than that. I'm not here for your competition. You need to run around. I'm not here for that. I'm here for God. I'm here for God. Whether you speak better than him, you are more educated than them. It's none of my business. Give me God. God. I don't want to leave this place and go and face the same trouble at home. My Jesus. I don't want to leave here and still be followed by the same devil that has been oppressing me. No, give me God. Give me God. Give me God. My hand is withered. I cannot operate my hand. A part of me has been disabled by the enemy. A vital part of me because this is a part of me that receives, that works and pulls in. My soul has been attacked. I have a man constantly under attack. I cannot afford to be distracted. Cannot. When you have a story about him, her, find another audience, not me. Please. God show up. Zita holo boshi araba sete. Ani di o, ani di. Ani the house of God there might be two things that led this first the understanding by revelation that this situation may not have solution out there but him in his presence in the joy that there is I will have found solution bless me O oh Lord I need you. 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 now, 
I may not know what you're going through. Your issue may not be a withered hands. But hear me. No matter your trial, no matter your tribulation, no matter situation, ordeal you may be facing, Jesus is the solution. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces will never be covered with shame. He knows you, he loves you, he cares for you. And even at this very hour, his hands are open to you. He will do for you what he said he will do. Seek him with your heart. Seek him with your spirit. Yes, Lord. And you will see his glory manifest in your life. Join those of us who say, I need you, oh God. Ah. this synagogue Jesus was present my house shall be called a house of prayer a place of communion and fellowship where you converse with me a place where my presence is evidence mm. not just a new club not just a gathering of men and women a place where God can be found the church of God should be a place where God can be found. Which God am I talking about? I am talking about Jehovah Jireh. Jesus. The God who provides. I am talking about Jehovah Rapha. The God who heals. Yes, I am Lord. talking about Jehovah Nisi. Mm. The Lord our banner. I am talking about El Kippur. Oh, God. The Lord God of war. About Jehovah Sabbath, my God, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the armies of heaven. I am talking about Jehovah Ra, my the Jesus, Lord, my shepherd. I am talking about Jehovah Chikenu, the Lord, my righteousness. I am talking about El Kana, the jealous God who protects me. I am talking about Jehovah Shama. Jesus. The Lord is there. I am talking about Jehovah Shalom. He is my peace. Hey. Oh. Oh, I need you, God. solution whether he will heal him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him they're watching they're watching him closely it is a Sunday what will Africa do again wait just wait, wait. The 
watch Jesus closely because a problem was identified while a solution was on the altar. My Jesus. They knew that something would have come out of this. Where the anointing is activated, chains are broken. Jesus. It is obvious. So they watched him. Do you know that we are being washed? They watched him. Some do not like you, but they do not miss your posts, your publications. They watch you, they follow you closely. They want to know what is happening about you. Where is she now? With whom is she there? Who bought that dress for her? Why is it that she's looking the way she's looking? What is she up to? Wait. Just wait. wait. I am on track with what God is doing in my season. I am on track. I'm going to my altar because I am on track. I am in the presence of God because I am, I am on, on track. track. I am in the Son of God where Jesus Christ is present because I am on, on track. Something will happen. Jesus, it is true. You have waited for too long. Mm. No, it had it has to. So now they watched Jesus Christ closely, whether he will heal him on the Sabbath. They speak of more than one, it's plural. It means that those who do not want the good to happen for various reasons they have, maybe to sustain the structure and keep harmony of their routine, are not to be undermined. Is a group, is a number of people. That's why you must never think something is validated against God because it comes with a backing of many. One man with God is majority. majority. I will say that. Do, do not just accept because too many people are fighting them. Too many people are speaking evil of them. We are the church of God. We are the house of God. Yes, we are. We are undeterred to fulfill the great commission. We will empty hell. We will fill up heaven. Mm. Devil, you like it. Oh no, not. we are here to take over Thank you, until Jesus, Jesus returns. Return. There is no debate about it. There is no argument about it. Mm -hmm. For he who is in us is greater than he who is in this world. Hallelujah. We are marching to victory. We are on track with the will and the oh, plans Jesus. of God. Something good is about to happen. I will Let say. them watch us. Please make sure that when you watch us, you do subscribe and click the notification bell so that when yeah. Africa appears, you may be notified. Come on now, my father! The reason why they watched, they watched him closely. They didn't just watch him meticulously <laughs> every word every move why is it that he was talking and walking in style they watched him closely some people have made it the full time job Jesus to mind you. Minding you became the full-time job. Let them have a good time seeing what God will do with you. You will buy a new car again. I rest. 
receive it. You will fly from place to place again. I receive it. God will elevate you again. In the name of Jesus. Again. Do you know the best way to answer your critics is that you go higher? Yeah. Not to argue with them because arguing will not help them. Since no one can argue with results, show more results. Oh yes. Let them fight with the result. Let them Thank argue Lord with Jesus. the result. I am going places. I am going places. I am going uh, places. They watch him closely, whether he will heal him Jesus. on the Sabbath. You see, the interest was not in healing. The interest was on when. You see, when your structure, your routine, your tradition begin to abolish the move of God by revelation, you are no longer connected. You are disconnected. Mm. Once you are connected, your source brings fresh water all the time. And you are aligned with God. You are literally tuned in the frequency of God. If you have a radio and you are not in the right frequency, all you hear is a noise. Until you tune. Once you tune correctly, you get the sound of right information. All I wanted to see was whether the man will be healed on the Sabbath. And they had a plan, so they might accuse him. Yes. Hear me, if you today believe that Pastor Aflokao is a man of God, he loves, you love your man of God, and that you are doing so just because it is a time of peace, I want you to find yourself another pastor. <laughs> because if you love me only because nobody is speaking bad, not long from now, maybe after this service, you may change your mind. Oh, yes. There are many who have laid weapons waiting for an opportunity to be used so they might accuse him. Jesus. They will accuse him of killing somebody. They will accuse him of resurrecting one. <laughs> You understand? So they watched him closely. Whether he will heal him on the Sabbath so that see, so that here is the end result. So that the goal may be achieved. That they might accuse him. And it carries on. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, you gotta understand, the Bible speaks of the synagogue and they speak about what was happening in the man who was in the synagogue and the Bible spoke of the opposition that began to complot already because they saw here, there's a vibe. Something is about to happen. You know there are people who can they can literally sniff your money coming. Oh, yes. <laughs> they can sniff it. They know that mm, if he stays here long enough, he'll get a contract. They don't want you to be close to certain people. So they, they watched and the Bible say, they had a plan that if he will do this, they will accuse him. They are accuser. The word devil is the word accuser. The word Satan, etymologically, is the word enemy. So they are Satan's followers. Baby Satan's. When you come across a baby Satan and a baby devil, be careful of BDs. BDs are baby devils. Be careful. Yeah. Be just careful. Look at the person next to you and say, I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> but here Jesus Christ begins. I love it when Jesus begins. 
Today, God will begin to do something. I was seven. There is nothing that the devil can do to stop what God is about to do. I receive it. I don't know to who I am speaking to, but there is nothing that the devil can do to stop what God is about to do. I receive. Jesus began the move of the Lord and he began by removing and separating the one needing him from the one getting ready to accuse him. Yes, <laughs> Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, separation is critical for advancement. Jesus. You have to learn to separate yourself. What is good today may not be good tomorrow. I was safe. With growth comes separation. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I walked like a child, some I dressed like a child, but now that I am a man, I have let go of all the childish things. Yes. You have to separate yourself. Some of you have too many friends, bad friends. You mm. walk like this. You are 21, but we give you 61. Because you have too many luggages, unnecessary so. You must understand every time God want to do something great, He will separate people. He said, come out of your country. Mm. He could just bless him there, but he said, no, not here. Come out of your country, from your nation, from your father's house, to a place I will show you. Do you hear that? Mm. In the apocalypse or revelation, the Bible says, Come out from amongst them, oh my people. We are the ecclesia. Yes. Ecclesia means the house of God, but it means taken out. Yes. Certain things will only happen when you are out. Jesus Christ understood that. Those who operate in miracles will I'll tell you that. There are certain miracles that cannot happen if everybody are there. So you have to ask others to leave and remain with the call. And with the call, you will progress well. There are too many voices speaking to you. Too many opinions around you. You are confused. You do not know which one is God. Separation is part of the word sanctification. What is sanctified is separated. A sanctified person is not necessarily a perfected person or a perfect person. A sanctified person is one that is <laughs> amongst the gift that I believe that God has given me that I need to keep on expressing is beside the fearlessness gift I believe to a certain degree God has blessed me with without it I would have not stand the enemy in many uh, uh, line of battles fearlessness where I know come water high water winds or whatever the case may be when this thing is over i mm. will be here you will be nowhere i will save it doesn't matter i just know that but there is another gift i have is called delete i have a delete gift a bye-bye anointing tell you I have a delete gift. S certain things you gotta flush it. Oh, yes. Or the house will smell. There are certain things you gotta flush it. Some WhatsApp group cannot have you still there. Exit the WhatsApp group. 
Some accounts should be closed. Yes. Some people's names should be deleted from your contact list. Mm. Some friends should no longer see you every Saturday, every Sunday, every Monday. No. Why do you want to kill yourself too early? Some miracles will happen only when you accept and understand yes. that I should be alone. Hear me. The higher you go, the lonely naturally it becomes. Because there are certain doors that you cannot cross with everybody. That's right. You cannot. And if you insist that everybody may cross that door with you, you go nowhere. Are you hearing me? Amen. So Jesus Christ began by focusing on a man with a problem. A man whose hand withered. And he says to the man, I gotta come up here. Is it okay that I come up here? By the way, this is my altar, right? <laughs> no, 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 hear this. Jesus Christ zeroes in on this man and gives the man an instruction. He was about to do something, but for that thing to perfectly be done, there had to be harmony between the man's heart and spirit with what Jesus was doing. So that had required that this man had to obey something. For it is only as you obey divine instruction that you are able to tap into divine benefits. So it gives him the instruction which was a call to action. If you act on this, you will step into the realm of what has already been prepared for you. What eyes have not seen. Mm. What ears have not heard. Mm. What has not come up the heart of man. The things that God prepared for those who love him. It gives him an instruction that was a command to do something. God is speaking to somebody here who is troubled. Somebody who is crushing over a load. Somebody who is saying I cannot proceed. I cannot do this. It is too much. Somebody who is at the end and is saying Lord, Lord I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to go. Will I survive? I don't know. He's giving you a simple instruction. And this is a call for action. He say, step forward. Separate yourself. Mm. Take a step out going before you. Jesus. Going from where you are. You gotta move. Look at somebody say move. Move. <laughs> the movement you have to make is linked to the miracle you have to have. I will say that. Find another man, say, move. Move. Here, if you will stay in Haiti with the trouble that you are going through, and you heard the call of God and say, IVP. And you say, well, I don't want to go IVP. I just want to be here. Hear me tell. Let me tell you. You have missed the move and you have missed the season of your visitation. There is always something that God requires you to do. And as you do it, you do it for the right cause. And the result will be overwhelming. Mm. He say, make your move. And I will make my own. God is saying today, make your move. Mm. And I will make my own. I will turn your life around. I will turn your mourning into dancing. I will cause you to amountable wings like an eagle. I will lift you so high that those who look low down at you will begin to look up to you. I will cause your mockers who mocked you day in and day out to become your admirers. It shall be me, the Lord your God, that will do it. Just obey 
me at all cost obey my voice at all cost obey my voice even if it is out of fashion it's okay do what I say if it is risky do what I say if you think that uh, you cannot really afford it just do your move I will do the rest he said step forward this year ladies and gentlemen is a year of pressing forward the lord spoke to us right in the beginning of this season and says sons and daughters the enemy has laid many threats but fear not for i am with you i will turn every stone thrown at you as a stepping stone for your victory you just press forward he said step forward this is what you have to do. You are in the same place, the same way, doing the same thing. In life, if you do the things you do, the same way you do it, you get the same result you always have. If you want different result, change what you used to do. The formula must change. He say, step forward. The Lord is calling you to Find forward. somebody next to you say, I'm going forward. I'm going forward. Uh, say to him or her, please understand. I won't be please here understand. again. Oh, I am dear, taking a step. I'm taking the step. Forward. Forward. Now, when you take a step forward, you are on the move. You are leaving one place. You are going to another place. There is a word best understood in French that says déplacement. Déplacement comes with two words, placement. Placement is a place where you are cemented. It's a place where you are found. It is your place. That is placement. Now the word déplacement means D. Meaning, you break from the place where you are firmed. You enter into a move that leaves the place where you used to be empty and fills the place where you're supposed to be. It is called, no more here but there. Uh, are you hearing me? I'm trying. No more here but there. Amen. You are breaking the placement. You are breaking house. You are breaking tent. I won't do it the way I used to do it. I won't give the way I used to give. I won't pray the way I used to pray. Yes. I am breaking the placement where I've been set. I'm breaking it. I am deplacing myself. I am breaking it to another place. I am here to prophesy over you that the Lord your God wants to change your address. I receive it. He's changing your address. I receive Who am I talking to? I receive Can I hear somebody shout praise unto God? It is you. I want you to begin to sense by the power of the Holy Ghost the movement, the shift taking place. You will no longer be found where you used to be. God is moving you from one level, He's taking you to the next level. I and the count of it. seven, may the angels of God, through the power of the Holy Ghost, establish it in your life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I receive. Where people used to see you before as a beggar, as a victim, as one crying, they will look for you. They will find you no more. I receive I they will it. look for you. They will find you no more. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ah, fix yourself. 
you are about to go you are going somewhere else <laughs> fix yourself ladies and gentlemen I receive it. get yourself ready step forward and the man don't step forward Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Step forward, the man took this step. And now Jesus began to deal with the rest. When you do your part, your enemies will be dealt with by the Lord Himself. I receive it. And the Lord began to speak to them and he said to them is it lawful on the sabbath to do good or to do evil to save life or to kill because what was about to happen was a life business a good business and the opposition was that the life business may not take place the good business may not take place that's what the church is all about and because they were confronted clearly, they had no answer. They could not answer. The Bible said they kept silent. Their hearts were filled with anger. But you see, the intelligence was too low to match the highest level of God's wisdom. They kept silent. Some people speak from far. They have no substance. They can't stand here. They have no right. substance. They need to speak be behind the doors, iPhone 4, <laughs> and do an audio <laughs> that they will share. They can't stand. They don't take the substance. They kept silence. Verse 5. And when he had looked around at them, hear this, with anger. This is Jesus Christ. It's called holy anger. When he had looked around at them in the numbers with anger, being grieved by the hardness of the hearts. Some people are Hard in heart. No mercy, no feeling. The world has turned wicked. Yes. The one who betrays you, betrays you speaking in tongues. Oh. Right. Your haters have Bibles. Some of them who are expecting your downfall are serving in the church. That's right. An enemy closer is more dangerous than one who's far. Very true. Not everybody should be your friend. Preacher. It's okay not to make them your friends. We are acquaintances, we meet, we say hi. Hello, are you good? Bye. Hallelujah. Do not allow the feeling of loneliness to lead you to the hands of those who are trying to cut your throat, slaughter you. Mm. If you feel lonely, buy yourself a teddy bear, a big one, hug your teddy bear. At least a teddy bear will not betray you. You devil, your reign of terror is over. It, it's just unbelievable. Jesus was angry. 
and he was grieved. Some people have literally no compassion. No compassion. They are as cold as ice. They do not move. They will see one crying, one in pain. They are not there. As long as they have their way, it's okay, it's okay. They will speak to tear down the house of God, the men of God, while they themselves position themselves good. And every time such injustice takes place, hear me, in the high table of men, one may be applauded, but in heaven, God is angered, is grieved. Jesus. Yes. He was grieved with the hardness of the heart. This means that the heart of a person can be hard. Mm. You know you are lying, but you are lying with eyes like this. You are lying. You know that. You know I'm lying. Mm. Mm. Next time you do this, your throat will not be spared. In the name of For Jesus. God will make your finger a knife. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. After that the Bible say, he said to the man who had the first instruction, do the second instruction. But this second instruction that will require you to believe because you'll find in you no sense the vital sense of your body that will lead you to it. You'll have to do it because you believe. I pray for somebody and this person did not move and I say, stand from the wheelchair. And I could see him say, in his heart, looking at me, it's not yet the time because I didn't shake yet. <laughs> he was expecting to, ja, chara, 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 just like he sees everybody. But his was different. Act on the word. Find two people say, act on the word. Act on the word. Act uh, on the word. You gotta act on the word. Jesus. The Bible say, he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out. And his hand was restored as whole as the Restoration is coming to you. I receive it. As a restoration is coming to you. I receive it. Your body is healed. Your body is restored. I receive it. Your family is healed. Your family is restored. I receive it. Your finances is receiving restoration in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I speak restoration, breakthrough, promotion, acceleration, elevation, doors opening and anointing. I receive it. So shall it be as a show. So shall it be. Otherwise. As a as a it cannot be otherwise in, in Jesus name, name. Of Jesus I'm not just a pastor I'm not mm -mm. not just one who stands and shares a sermon I'm a spirit oh yes what is born of God overcomes the world and what is born in flesh is flesh what is born in spirit is spirit I am not suggesting what I'm saying to you the Lord is imposing it in your life imposing it in your situation I receive it that with that hand stretched toward Jesus today is receiving complete restoration in the name of Jesus. I receive it. The hand of God is not short to touch where you are. The Lord is reaching you. His I might, Jesus His power. Name. Receive it now. I receive it. In the name of, of Jesus. The house of God is a place of restoration and that man in the synagogue receive his restoration. If you are sick, you trust in God. 
in the house of God, the Lord heals. If you are broken, you trust in God. In the house of God, God restores. If you are lost and you trust in God, the Lord will put you back on the right path. If you do not know what else to do, the Lord will direct your path. In the house of God, favor comes. In the house of God, there is divine protection. In the house of God, the victims turn to victors. Demotion becomes promotion. I was mess of yesterday turns into a message. I was in the saved. house of God, the shame is turned into fame. I in the saved. house of God, we live high. We live high in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Wherever you are, lift your hand and begin to pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost and present to Jesus Christ your own ordeal, your own situation. Heal me today, oh God. Set me free, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Set oh, me cry. free, oh, God. Yes, oh, God. Jesus. Yeah, the cry of your people. I'm here for you. Set me free, oh, God. The Lord of the Spirit of Prophets. Mm. We are about this here. Even where you are at home, may the hand of God manifest in your life. Something is happening from this altar and is reaching you. In the church of God, receive the grace of God right now. I receive it. The Lord is speaking a miracle in somebody's life. A miracle in your life. In the name of Jesus. Many people are receiving their restoration, the miracles, the breakthrough today. I receive it. Whatever the enemy has done to destroy the purpose of God in your life, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Whatever plan Satan had put together to stop the move of God from reaching you, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. From this day Jesus. forward, I decree and I declare the blessings of God shall manifest in everything you do in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are a child of God. You walk with God. May God perfect His will in everything that concerns you today in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Your home is blessed. 
I will say. Your family is blessed. I will say. Your future is bright. I will say. You will not die before your time. In the name of Jesus. You are heavenly protected. I will save it. Heavenly defended. I will save it. God is going before you. Mm. He's making every crooked way straight. Thank you, Jesus. I decree and I declare it is well with you. I receive. Begin to expand. Begin to multiply. I receive. Take over. I Take possession. I receive. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. My hands stretched. I decree concerning you. Whatever did not work yesterday. We want to begin to work now. In the name of Jesus. What you tried and did not work. Try again this time. And this time it shall work. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and as if you are showing your hands to God. May God see the hands of every man, every woman here. Amen. This is a simple instruction as you show your hands. May God see your hands. I will see oh God, I pray. Receive the hands given to you. Make them your own. Lord, I pray. Release favor. Release oil Amen. of prosperity. Amen. Of multiplication. I will see. Of power. I will see. On every hand. The prosperity may flow through these hands. I will see. That whatever these hands touch may prosper. I One, will see. two, three. Now, Lord. Now, Lord. Now, Lord. Now, 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 I will now. Save it. Bring fire. Bring fire. Yes, Lord. On these hands, bring fire. Bring fire. Bring fire. Yes, Lord. Bring fire. The fire. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Bring fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, now, if I may, take your hands and put them on your head. You say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, my life is blessed. My life is blessed. Say, I am not cursed. I am not cursed. I am too blessed. I am too blessed. To be cursed. To be cursed. Say, I am blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the city. I am blessed in the field. I'm blessed in the field. Whatsoever concerns me. Whatsoever concerns me. Is blessed by the Lord. Is blessed by the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. I decree and I declare. No bad news is coming near me. No bad news is coming near me. I will celebrate in this time. I will celebrate in this time. I will celebrate. I will celebrate. I will testify. In the name of Jesus. 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 So shall it be. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. It cannot be otherwise. Now what what, what we are here? Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, may the Spirit of God reach you right at the back. In the name of Jesus. May you receive a divine visitation. I receive it. Oh, yeah. Everyone is being touched by God. Thank you, Everyone, Jesus. Everyone, don't miss it. Thank you, Jesus. It's your day. It's your time. I command every spirit of infirmity to leave. In the name of Jesus. I speak against every diabolical spirit causing sickness and disease to go. In the name go. of Jesus. Go. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Your doors are being opened right now. I receive it. I speak what I hear and I speak what I see. I see it. Something is happening. While you are here, angels are going. They are fixing matters. I receive it. For you too. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Jesus' take name. It. Take it. I receive take it. it. I receive Rabbo it. Soto. We will see. Who is the Lord of God? Your God is God. Yes. Now, now, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a woman. 
this woman is like you the enemy is fighting you were married and in 2019 you lost your husband you have two children and I'm seeing that when you were young already the attacks of the enemy were so heavy on you you, you have a body that is burnt all here you were coming, I don't know, from school or where. Fire from nowhere came on you. You were about 14 years old those days already. And you, you have mark, you have scars. No buntu, no buntu, no buntu, no buntu, no buntu. Where are you? No buntu, where are you? Where are you? Is that you? Rima halabasea, come here. Oh, Jesus. You are no buntu. May God mm. visit everyone, every one of us. In Somebody say, don't pass Jesus. me by today. Don't pass me by today. I speak as one who soaked in the grace of mm. God for his people. One who has disappeared in the hands of God and all that is seen is the hand of Jehovah manifesting. I speak as one who has been pulled, separated, for times such as this. Jesus. What I say today is established by the anointing of God forever. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, come close to me. Do you come to church here? Do you come to church here? Yes, I came through time now. Sorry? It's a true time that I come here. All right. Yes, now God want to rescue you God want to rescue you he want to do something yes, I was there and the Lord showed me a person whose life has been going through a lot of tribulation and difficulties and the battles of such a person didn't start today it started a long time ago yes. it's like a Satan has been on his case I was there where were you yes. look at me where, where were you yes. where was she she was right at the back there. Oh, Jesus. So there is no way I could see her there. But I hear this. God told me that the person that I'm speaking to has his body burned. He has scars. Because when she was young, about 14 years or so, out of the blue was burned. Is that you? Is that you? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. Show it. Somebody must see this. Oh God, have mercy, Jesus. Hmm. Hmm. It's where this and it goes where. All over the body. All over your body. Right. Mm. Uh, tell me what happened for this to to be like this. I was coming from school. Then I was, oh, oh, the time I was, I was still in Eastern Cape, I was opening to the Randall house. When I was going straight to the bed to take my clothes to change, there was this thing like lightning, but there was shine, sunshine outside. And then I feel my body burning. It wasn't raining. It was not raining, Mr. It, in the Eastern Cape? Yes. There was sunshine outside? Yes. But I feel something like lightning. Something like lightning. Oh, yes. And it burned you like this. Yes, man of God. Now, if God would not reveal this, how would you know? How? The reason why the enemy doesn't like things like this and tries at all costs to undermine it because this is a proof that there is something beyond what we see. Right. And when we say God is, this is a confirmation that God is. And we cut his tongue by saying that. So he will try to say this is not. Maybe this she made it herself. And pastor has some spiritual visual scanners. I do. To see beyond what eyes can see. Mm -hmm. Every day, every week, everywhere we go. God keep on doing the same thing, but some still don't believe him. Yes. For years, the same thing again and oh, again. Jesus. Different places, the same way. Different people. Yes. 
Jesus was grieved because of the hardness of their heart. Look at her. Look at her body. But the person I saw God said, the ordeals you don't stop there. Life has been difficult. Got married. That's true. It's like Lois who died or something like that. Yes, it's my husband's name. That was his name? My it's Lois. All right. So your husband died. So it's like your life is just your blessing be cut short all the time. If you are under the sound of my voice and you too, the enemy still comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, cutting your joy short today. I break the yoke of the enemy over you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, I release you to the next level of the grace and the glory of God. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. So the bank didn't work. You finished the bank. You started something yourself. Yes. What are you doing now? I'm running an NGO. Oh, I, we have me and my it's like my sister but it's my friend because we grew up together your sister yes and, and your friend yes she, I took her pastor like my friend more like my sister because she's my friend we meet at work and then our contract become terminated you know, now we're starting an NGO we have a bubble education so education. You, you met at work with uh, a yes. friend yes and she's you took her as your sister yes which work was that we were working in Zaha, in Zaha Bank. Zara Banking? Yes. Okay, and the, you were working together? Yes. Pastor. Was it like account, opening accounts and things yes, like that? Yes, we were opening accounts for NSFS. All right. And are you saying that are you now working with an NGO? What about your friend? We, after you, we... You're working together, that's we what We were working mean. together from Zaga. So now me and her, we are partners. We have an NGO. We offer a daycare. We start the NGO together. How is it working? Yes. It, How is it working? It's not working good, Pastor, because after the, the COVID-19 in 2020, things started to be slowly. That's why we end up coming here. Because is, is your partner, your friend, your sister now also serving God? Is in God? She loves God? Yes. Even today, I came with her. You came with her today? Yes. Where is she? She's there at the back. Glory to Jesus. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. All right, the two of you are working together. Yes. She okay. said that she's. Uh, she takes you like a, a sister, not just a friend. Yes, Pastor. It's and been a while we've been together from work. And then when the contracts were done, uh, we decided to open our head center. I like your incisions. One, two. It's very nice, beautiful. Is it like an incision, incision, medical incisions, or tattoo incision, or spiritual in incisions? It was what? Uh, it was spiritual. Spiritual. Yes. Okay, I see, I see. Well, I just say, uh, by the way, okay? So don't... Oh, okay. So I took her like my blood sister. Uh, she helped me through a lot. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. That's well. We're praying for her. And she mentioned you. You just be there. Do you know that God loves you? I see your two children need you. You survived the pain yesterday and God brought you here because he intends to do something with your life. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Your scars are overwhelming because I can see the picture of it. It is not like one scar. It is all over. Yes, Pastor. I even lost one breast. You even lost one breast. Yes, Pastor. Oh, Jesus. And every time you take steps, you see pain because of your scars. And now your husband passes away, but he dies in the most difficult way. It is like a cancer, intestines cancer. Is that true? 
Yes, Pastor, even I'm here, here at the time I was in hospital because I was banned inside here. I have a white stuff, white, white, like a paper here. Uh, all right, that is you. Your husband dies. He yes. dies with cancer. And your life has always been like that. Your contract finished. Thank God you started an NGO. And uh, you have a partner. You say that uh, together you are doing well. Yes. Now, the reason why God called you forth is because he's doing something in your life. Yes, I pray Thank you, Jesus. Do that the same thing, thing that God is doing, mm -hmm. may God multiply the same in your life. I too. receive it. May you receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I am praying from today. Yes, Pastor. What was difficult yesterday will begin to become easy. In the name of Jesus. You, you, oh, Shariba Halabasete. Mm. You will see the grace of God. You see the, the glory of God. Jesus. Yes, Pastor. God will do it for her. I will save it. How many of you want Jesus Christ to perform this? Yes, Lord. Mm. Are you happy to see that God is doing something? Amen, Pastor. I am. Hear me. Look at me. <laughs> Sorry. God will do it for you too. Amen. Receive it. Oh. Jesus' name. I, I don't want you to feel like I'll be focusing on her as I say, oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are blessed. Thank you for mercy. Lift your hands, say, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Show yourself in my life. Show yourself in my life. How are you feeling for her? What are you feeling for her? I'm so happy, Pastor. You're so happy? I'm so happy that even our business will grow. Jesus is with us. Thank you, Your Jesus. business will grow indeed. Is there anybody who wants to see growth in what it does? Now look at me. What's your name? What's your name? Pumzile. Pumzile. Yes. As you walk together, as God has located her, she called you. I'm praying for both of you because you have one same interest in business. Amen. That God may manifest his glory. My name is Aflo Kao. And hear me, hear me. On the 8th of November, 1995, you were born. Amen. Yes, Pastor Street. Is that your date, right? Yes. The 8th of November. Yes. You had your own ordeals also. Yes. I am seeing a child. This child is your child. The child was born on the 20th of September. That's my son. Is that your son? That's my son. But with the father, it's not really as he's supposed to. Because as I speak, I am seeing him in a mind. Mm -hmm. He's working in a mind. He's working in a mind. Leaving you to fight for yourself. This is the reason why this must work. <laughs> As you came close, some people come close. As you come close, the Lord I serve will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Receive it. I'm looking at you, you are bright and intelligent. In fact, you saw it in her at work already that time, right? Is that true? That's what you saw in her? Yes, Pastor. Because if the humanity can live with other people, you can speak with or with her any problem. She will support you. That's why at work you decided. I decide let me be her friend because I was having a lot of pro problem. I lost a man. My life was miserable. Our contract was terminated. So I, I is the one that I think God is saying it for me. Pastor. Amen. You see. Amen. The Lord knows you and is blessing the two of you. <laughs> Hold hands. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch yours toward them. Zerebe mm. Karabasoto. Pray, pray Jesus. for them. Riarabasoto. I'm praying for the two of you. May the grace of God, the power of God come on you. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hand, church, and pray and receive. Jump into what God is doing for them. Never the same again in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Please come. Come. What's your name? What's your name? Eugene. 
Eugene, that's your name. Eugene. Eugene. Beautiful name. Eugene. So, Lord, what do you want me to do? Oh, Jesus. Eugene. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Eugene. Thank you, Jesus. The 4th of February, is there one who was born on the 4th of February day? The 4th of February. You were born on the 4th of February. Please come. Oh, so, looking at Jesus. me, what's your name? Oh. What's your name? Sorry? Amos, please come. If you may. Come, come. Jehovah Shama. I see you everywhere. Blessed Edema, your glory fills the earth. Everlasting Father, one who watches me, I put my confidence in Jehovah. Okay, come, come close, come close. You say your name is what? Eugene. Your name is Eugene? Yes. Now, Eugene, serving God requires sacrifice. Yes. You have to deny yourself to serve God. Yes. I see you singing. Yes. For five years you've been with a man of God. Yes, we do. The man of God I'm talking about, his name is Solomon. Zunga. It's true, man of God. Five years we started ministry, and you were part of the praise and worship. That's true, man of God. Leading that. Is that correct? Yes, man of God. Is this your first time in this church you've been coming before? Yes, Tita. Is your first time? Yes. Glory to Jesus. But because you had to move from where you used to be to another place. Who's Nelly? It's my wife. You're married to Nelly? Yes. <laughs> Nelly is your wife? Yes. Is it for two years or for longer? Two years. For two years? Yes. <laughs> so for two years you've been married to Nelly? Yes. All right. Let leave Nelly. Let go back to you. you. You want to serve God now as you had to move because Nelly got a job. And because of that you had to move. So you can't be in the church with Pastor Solomon anymore. By the way, as I pray for you, there is an impartation that God said that I would have reached that man of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, I see, I see about, about 50 people or so in the church. But God is about to bring something that will cause an explosion to happen. Say that. But you are... You are sure, convinced, you are called to serve God as a pastor. Is that correct? Yes, man of God. You even have a plan that I will start a church as soon as the Lord gives me an opportunity. Is that okay? Yes. Is that true? Yes. It's a form of a life ministry. A church that you want to start and you say I gotta start it I just need means is that okay is that true yes all right Jesus. wait for me here I'll give you what pastors give so your ministry may go you serve God I'll give you an impartation okay, can, can I can I just walk a little bit I want to refresh my mind can I do that
Divine visitation over all of you. Receive it. As a divine visitation over all of you. I receive it. Jesus. Let your name be glorified. I stretch my hand and I give it to you in the name of Jesus. Beg it! Jesus name from this day may the Lord serve introduce you to a dimension yes. of the spirit a dimension high Take it Jesus in the name, name of Jesus save it bring him up he needs to serve God he needs more is there anybody who is asking God for more say Lord give him more Lord give me more your eyes are open you will see in the spiritual realm. Thank you, you Jesus. You will speak with fire. Receive it. As the Lord shepherds your character, He will bless you and bless you again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Receive take it. 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 What's your name, sir? Sipo. Your name is Sipo. Yes. Now, Sipo, the Lord told me to pray for somebody who was born on the 4th of February. You say it is you, right? Yes. I see three children and I see three children. All together make six children. What does it mean? I see three children and I see three children. And together they make six children. Yes, Mr. It means what? Yes means what? Yes, six children. You have six children? Six children. And uh, the three? You had three with one woman and others outside? What happened? The first three were from the previous marriage. The previous marriage? Yes, the last three were on my late wife. And the, the other ones? They are on different mothers. The last three You're not explaining to me well. Let me explain to you then. <laughs> well, I want you to explain to me. Nothing to be shameful of, right? Have you ever spoken to me before? No. Sir. No. Okay. I'm seeing three children. Your wife died. Your previous marriage, as you call it. Your wife died, right? Yes, sir. Now, you have... Three children with this woman who died. And you have uh, one, two, three. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not judging you. I'm just mentioning this. Yes. She died. She did not know that there were six already. She thought there were only three. You <laughs> managed the others. Yes, man. All right. You kept a secret till the end. It's okay. That's your own business. But the reason why I'm seeing your children is because I'm seeing more of your parents' children. In your family, it's like one dies, 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 dies. It's like sudden, mysterious death. It's like 17 people and dying one, 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 remaining two. Yes, man of God. What does it mean? Tell me that. We were 17 and one mother. I'm the second last one. That means I'm the 15. I never see the other 12 in my life. You were 17 yes. in a family. Yes. 17 siblings applaud for Africa. <laughs> applaud. Glory to Jesus. And in the 17, mysteriously, one dies, the other one dies, just like that. Either it's lightning, or he went to bed, he didn't wake up. In December, it's worse. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Especially between, just before Christmas, between the 20th to the 25th, one dies, the second dies, the third dies, the fourth dies. It's like death carries on like that. Yes, man of God. 
So now, out of the 17 you used to be, how many are still alive? We are only two now. Only two? Yes. 15 died? Yes. I'm praying for you, I'm praying for Tembi. Yes. Because it's just you and Tembi. Yes, Somebody Lord. do this under the blood. Under the blood. Under the blood. Under the blood. I decree and I declare no weapon formed against you shall prosper from seven. this day forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Already your health is a problem, right? You have an issue with your health. It's terrible, man. It's like they have said that now we need the 16th one. But I miss you. You came to AMI. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, happy special hands to all. I am praying that God may restore you. In the name. Heal you. Protect you. Jesus. Protect your family, your children. In the name Save of it. Jesus. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Complete restoration. Amen. Amen. They have victimized you. What's your name you say? My name is Amos. Amos, where do you stay? I'm staying in First Lawrence. First Lawrence. Come, yes, come sir. close to me. When he was coming down, I saw you looking at me as if you thought that it was you I was speaking to. Amos, have you ever spoken to me before? No, no. Man, okay, let me help you. I see you worked for a big company, like a career company, DHL. You know DHL? Yes, I worked for DHL for nine years. You worked for DHL for nine years? Yes, man of Lord. Where? Where? In Elan's Fontaine. All right. You worked for DHL for nine years because I see Korea company, I see DHL. You worked there. And at the end of the contract, because the company had to go through some uh, restructuring or liquidation, you decided to get your package and you got enough. With what you had, with your beautiful wife, you began to build. I see you built like a, a small house with three rooms or so. Is, is, is that okay? Is that true? Yes, man of Lord. Yes. Man. And you thought that, okay, with uh, what I have, I will live by it. I will support my family with this. Is that, is that true? Yes, it's true, man of Lord. But around about 2015, an ordeal happened that landed you in jail. Yes, men flute. They had accused you of raping a 12-year-old girl. Yes, men of flute. And uh, you were arrested for three months. I'm seeing three months. Yes, I stayed for three months in Boxback Prison, men of flute. You didn't see it coming. Policemen, men in uniform came and began to search the house without telling you the full story. They told you that you raped a child and you did not understand what they were talking about but I still took you in. Is that correct? It's correct, man of Lord. They even kicked me. They even? They kicked me. They beat me up, man of Lord. All right. A policeman did not do that. When policemen do that, just disassociate them from the official police force we have. When people do that, they are not being law-abiding. So people who came, it was an orchestrated thing. That's why they went that far. Do you understand? Yes, man of Lord. They beat you up. You didn't know how to explain yourself. They arrested you. And you've been sent from your family. Your wife went through a lot in this moment. Yes, you went from this office, helping here, seeking here, no help until a charge is set with the matter and say, but the, this matter is not proven. It doesn't have substance and kicked it out of court. Is that true? That's very much true, man of Lord. Jesus. Now, as a servant of God, I here confirm that that 12 year old girl does not even exist. This story was a made up story. That's why it doesn't have substance. Can I remind you something? Sometime before all the ordeal came, some three ladies, uh, two or three ladies came and said that they ran an NGO, just like an NGO, and they wanted to rent your house for an orphanage. 
And you say no. I Is said, that correct? I said no, man of Lord. That's where the problem started, man of Lord. So you know that that problem started from there. I, 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 now that you're telling me, I can see it, it started there, man of Lord. All right. Your own house. You built it with your own money. Yes, man. Of they Lord. want to rent. You say no. Yes, I said no. They take an offense. Yes. Mm. They cook something against you. Yeah. They brought pain in your life. For three months, your family cried. Jesus. Even now, the community see bad when they look at you. Because there is a stigma on you. They have victimized you. Who would have not moved when you hear that a child has been raped? They manipulated the opinions of all. Welcome to Hallelujah Ministries. Our God is a right charge. Yes. He will fight a battle that nobody can fight for you. Oh God. And here now is fighting for him. Thank you, Jesus. Restoring his life. In the name of so Jesus. So pronounce over you. May God justify you. In the name of Jesus. May God fight for you. In the name of fight Jesus. Fight your cause. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I will save it. Stretch your hands. Now look at me. Jesus. You tried your best, right? You came out. Now you don't know. Cooking and helping. Trying to see how you can keep things up. Bringing in income. You feel cheated. Yes, a lot, man of Lord. You feel violated. A lot, man of Lord. Uh -huh. Oh, God. God. Lord God. Now, mm. when I'm praying like this, I'm speaking about these people. You are here. You are seeing this. Don't come up with, oh, can it be God? Is here. You can ask him. What I say is what I see. If you have another version, it's your problem. The Lord will restore his life because God cannot reveal this much and nothing happens. That's right. And as you will join in this miracle, you too will begin to see God justifying you, fighting for you, restoring you, you and taking you out of very difficult situations oh. in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Stretch your hand and pray for him. I must have prayed restoration over your life. In the name I release the grace of God and the power of God over you. Receive in the name of Jesus. Restore God. I pray. Restore him, O oh God. Complete restoration. Please, Lord, in restore Jesus him. Name. May God restore you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. I receive it. Pastor Nelly, I know that it was not you. I know. I was looking this side for something else. I saw Pastor Nelly very nervous. Oh, what just happened here? Now here it is. If your name is Nelly, you are born on the 27th of August. You are born on the 23rd of August, right? You see your point of contact for many people, you know? I'm seeing Nelly born on the 27th of August. If you are here, wave to me. 27th of August. Are you, Nelly, come, come, come. Nelly, come. 27th of August. Jesus, 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 my dear son, can I touch your hand? Son, come, come. God. Jesus. God will do something good. When we think that we are going to the end, God brings up something new. You're, you're serving God, your commitment to God. Yes. God is rewarding. Thank you. Thank he will take you very high. Hallelujah. Keep serving God. Thank you, Pastor. Your wife may not be here, but your children will be a blessing to you. Thank you. Glory to Jesus. And I hear this that I say. The letter will be better than the former. In the name of Jesus. You drive a better car. Yes. You live in a better way. 
because more is coming, more is coming. Receive it. More grace, more power, Jesus. more blessings. Ziara Mahulo Boshia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right, all right. Your name is Nelly. In a dream. <laughs> last oh, night. You had a dream last night? Yeah, almost this morning. This morning? You spoke to my son. Oh, wait, wait. So, I call Nelly. The Lord said to me, the 27th of August, you came. And you say that you had a dream this morning. Yeah. And in the dream, I did what? You spoke to my son. I spoke to your son. Yes. Wait, wait. You saw me in the dream? Yes. It was me? Yes. All right. Let me go back to the dream. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Samuel. 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 <laughs> so I spoke to S Samuel. Samuel. Was it in Canada where I was speaking of? <laughs> Somebody make a hold of those crazy noises. You are so blessed, so chosen. Hallelujah. Samuel is your blessing. Yes. Samuel will keep on bringing joy. Okay, glory to God. The union that brought Samuel may have not been as it's supposed to, like a, like like a forced one. That's what they did. That's what they did. They did to me. That they did to you. They forced you into it. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh Jesus. Baba <laughs> Bosho, to somebody pray the Holy Ghost, something is happening. <laughs> the signal of what is happening now was seen by her even in a dream this morning. Before church came and gathered, and God through the prophetic is doing that. The first into marriage, that Samuel is your blessing, is in Canada. Asi Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Yes, sir. Jesus. Come, my daughter, come. Your assignment is big, is big, is big. Come here. How is Lebanon? How is Lebanon now? I'm on television, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes, okay, are. okay, all right. Jesus and the church is praying connect to what God is doing right now mm. <laughs> there's nothing the Lord can hide from you you're my father <laughs> mm. it is amazing so I'd ask her do you do you know how I know it so there's nothing the Lord can hide from you. Oh, Jesus. There's nothing. Exactly as I say in the details. Understand, we don't want microphone because of those sensitive <laughs> issues. Jehovah Shammah, I see you everywhere. Jesus. Blessed Redeemer, your glory fills the earth. Oh, Lord. 
is a good God. He's a merciful God. Mm. He will do for you and for me what He say He will do. Thank you, Jesus. My daughter, keep the flame burning. Keep that flame burning. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad of the step forward. Mm. I bless God for it. Thank you, Lord. You've always been special to Him, and many times He told you that. Keep that flame burning. Thank you, Jesus. And let it increase now. Let it increase In now. In the name of Jesus. Let it increase now. Thank you, Jesus. Increase, oh God. In the name of increase, Jesus. Increase, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus' Lord. name. Daniela. How are you doing? How are you doing? Please stand up, stand up, stand up. All right. I'll speak in French since you're speaking in French. So you translate. You translate. You need a microphone, another microphone to translate, but you're old. Right. Viens, 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 Daniela, viens, Daniela. Come closer. Il y a quelque chose de spécial avec toi. There is something special about you. C'est très clair. That's so je peux clear. bien le voir. I can see it Et c'est pourquoi je suis encore là. That's why I'm still here. Tu es né différemment. You were born differently. Et Dieu, à ces temps, voulait que tu sois exactement ici. And God wanted you to be exactly here Ce long this voyage, this long trip, c'est parce que Dieu voulait que tu sois ici. It's because God wanted you to be here. Est-ce que tu es content d'être finalement ici, d'être Alleluia Ministries? Were you happy to be finally here? Je suis béni, ça a toujours été mon rêve d'être ici. I'm Can you blessed. hear that? I'm blessed, it has always been a dream. I'm blessed, it has always been a dream for me to be here. Dis encore, qu'est-ce que tu dis Oui, je suis bénie aujourd'hui. Ça a toujours été mon rêve d'être ici. Et euh, la dernière fois, à Kinshasa, à la veille, avec Bishop Jackie, on a passé un bon moment. Elle avait ramené les vibes de l'Afrique de Sud. Et j'ai dit que je vais en Afrique de Sud pour vivre ça. C'est pourquoi je suis là. I've always desired to come here. And the last time in Kinshasa, at the overnight with Bishop Jackie, she brought the vibe from South Africa, and I was very happy. Now, I'm here really to experience it. Bishop Jay, écoute, Dieu veut t'utiliser pour ta famille, et Dieu est en train de faire quelque chose de complètement une chose nouvelle dans ta vie. God wants to use you for your family and is doing something new. Il est en train de tourner les choses dans ta vie. Ta vie est en train de prendre un détour complètement nouveau. Est-ce que tu sens cela dans ta vie Je sens ça. Ma vie a complètement changé et je veux plus. Je veux suivre ces dieux. Alléluia. Aujourd'hui, je prie pour toi, Daniela. Today, I pray for you, Daniela. Que le Seigneur glorifie son nom. May God glorify his name. Tu as une maman qui prie beaucoup. Maman, Sandrine prie beaucoup. You have a mother who prays a lot. Mama Never Sandrine. underestimate the power of a praying mother. Ne sous-estime pas la puissance d'une mère qui prie. Dieu est un Dieu des récompenses. God is a rewarder. Les prières de ta maman, son cœur à Dieu. The prayer of your mother. Je mérite que tu la dises que Dieu a écouté. Tell her that God has listened to her prayer. Et Dieu va bénir toute sa famille, and, tout le monde. And God is going to bless the entire family. Shérif est béni. Angela est béni, Brian est béni, Michael est béni, Michael from 
Michael, Mika, Ebeni, Dan, Ebeni. Dan is blessed. Even the dog, Snow, is blessed. Name the shepherd, baby. Je prie pour toi aujourd'hui que Dieu t'élève. Marche avec today, lui. For God to you. Une Walk page tournée ne doit plus revenir. Et puis, sache que là où le Seigneur t'amène, ce n'est pas you, tout le monde qui va applaudir. It's not who's going to Certains amis seront des ennemis. Some of your friends will become your enemies. Certains qui ont été vraiment proches vont s'éloigner. Some who were very close to you will move away. Mais garde tes yeux à Jésus. But fix your eyes on Jesus. Est-ce que tu me suis, ma fille? Are you following me, my daughter? Quand le diable viendra te rappeler ton passé. When the devil will come and remind you of your past. Rappelle-lui son futur dans l'enfer. In tu vas servir le Seigneur. Amen. À un niveau très élevé. Amen. À un niveau très élevé. Vous pouvez lever vos mains. Elle a mentionné au Congo. Lève tes mains. Lève tes mains. Will you stretch your hand, everybody? Just pray for her. Her name is Daniela. She had endeavored to pray, to go, to ask God to manifest in her life. And she had prayed that God may allow her to come here. Lord, I pray for Daniela. Bless her, Lord. Fulfill your word in her life. Glorify your name in Daniela's life. Lord, I pray, make her what you call her to be. A woman of God, a woman of power, a woman that will operate in the anointing and in the glory of God. Lord, we pray for her. We pray, oh God, glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name. Bless her family, bless her life. Daniela is blessed to bless. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody lift your hands, stretch your hands toward me. Hey, Arabaso. The Lord's eyes are on you. The Lord has seen you. The grace of God. The power of God, the amazing grace of God, the unction of the Almighty, may it work for you today. Spirit of the living God, I pray for your sons and for your daughters right now. With your hands, I begin to pray. Speak to God. somebody's life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Now, as you stretch your hands, say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, my life is blessed. My life is blessed. Say, I am covered. I am covered. The grace of God is mine. The grace of God is mine. Every withered hand here is being restored in the name of Jesus. I pray for one more. And the grace of God, I pray for one more. 
pray for one more person. Ay, ay, Jesus, my daughter, keep on serving God. Serve God with power. Serve God with grace. Serve God with anointing. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Say that. Bring up. Wherever you are, receive. Receive. I will receive it. My daughter, hear this. God is saying, He knows your pain because He knows you're lost. I'm referring to a son. Jesus. Mm. Yes, Papa, I lost, I lost my son. He was killed. He was killed. <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> they stepped your son. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes, oh, they stepped my son. I find him dead. <laughs> yeah, I <know. laughs> You found him dead. Yes, Papa. It was not even his battle. He just went there to help people who were hurting. <laughs> and then they targeted him. The other party came for him. They stabbed him dead. <laughs> and your son was your treasure. He was your friend. <laughs> because I can see every 6th of January, he was always there on the 6th of January to say, oh! Happy birthday. <laughs> Oh God. Happy birthday. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 6th of January is my birthday, Papa. And he was always there to say happy birthday. Stand by you. Because I thought the relationship has been difficult. But he was there. He's gone. But it's funny to, 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 to see this. Your son himself before dying, he had experienced pain of a loss. It's like he was in a relationship and the person gave birth and something happened. And when it happened to him, it was not his time. But this is what God is saying. As you treasure the memory of your son and the beautiful things that you remember of him, let go of the pain. For the Lord is saying, is doing something new in your life. I will save it. I will save it. Thank you, Lord. You, you, you can't be so faithful to God, so connected to the altar of God, mm. calling on Him day and night, and He doesn't show up. I will save it. From today. From today, Jesus. from today, yes, Lord. may the grace of God manifest in your life. Receive it. May the Lord begin to do what only He can do. Oh, God. I bless you, my daughter. Mm. May the anointing and the unction of God operate in you. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Son. Bless you. Bless you. Mm. Is there anybody who believes that the restoration has come to him? I receive it. Is there anybody who believes that God is taking him higher? Mm. Where's your other brother? Where's he? He's dead. Please come. Glory to Jesus. Wow. 
Oh God. I'm imparting the grace of God upon the two of you. You serve God, you are there, you give your best to God. And now God is about to give you a flower. Will you stretch your hands toward them? Well, I pray for you. I'm giving you a blank check in your heart. Ask God for something. Mm. And as I pray, it will become part of your testimony. Yeah? Mm. I will release so much power in you. Get, get ready. Please be behind them because I, I will release so much power. Okay? But hear me, before, before that, I just need you. As I pray for you now, ask God something in your heart. If it's a car, ask a car. If it's a, it's a house, ask a house. If it's the healing of somebody, ask for it. If it is a job, ask for it, right? Zamalobo Baba. Begin to ask that. It will become part of your testimony. The world Thank is you, watching Jesus. and everybody's watching. Your testimony will be that day I pray for this and this happened. Oh God. Mm. Oh, you stretch your hands toward them. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. The name that is above every other name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing a new thing. Who did you come to church with? I got. Who did you come to church with? Where's mommy? Let her come. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I was getting them out of the way. Please come on. I want to pray for you that God may help you, okay? I want to pray that God may visit you. Visit you in your health. But visit not only the two, all your children. How many children do you have? You have four children. Are they the last bones? They are the last bones. The last bones. Where is the sister? The sister was attacked. Where is she? She's in Limpopo right now. She's in Limpopo. Yes. So she went to Limpopo. She went to Limpopo. No, but hear this. The attack that you say your the dear sister, your daughter, is something in her head. Jesus. Uh, look at this. God is destroying witchcraft. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What is happening with your daughter is an attack of witchcraft. Please ask her to come out from Limpopo and come here this week, okay? Because from here, I'm sending fire from where that thing started. Jesus. In Limbro Park, that side. Yes. In Limbro Park. Yes. It started there. Yes! He knows about it. And Pastor Sam, all the pastors prayed for my daughter in this house, Papa. 
I pray for your daughter. Now tell your daughter. I want to pray for all the pastors, even Pastor Rodney, Pastor Sam, every pastor in the house. Pray for her, Papa. He started when he was at, she was at work. And there was a lady who wanted her to do her job. She said, she said they hired her not knowing anything at work. And then she said, when, when she was fighting, she didn't know she was tired of working for her anymore. And she said, what is it that you want from me? And the lady said to my daughter, I'll make sure that you're a hobo. I'll pay a sangome thousand rand just to mess up your life. That is what that lady said. Yes. To your daughter. To my daughter, she told me. She, she told me a week before she can the attack can start. All right. And she, she, she come, accompany her. Okay, brother. look at me. Look at, at me. Okay, to come okay. to church. Okay. Yes. She told you a week before it happened. She told me a week before. What it happened? happened? What that lady say that word? Yes. Okay, that lady say she will spare no money. She will go to a to witch a doctor. Yes. And to, to mess cause her, her to mess her to up. Mess up her life. Wait, wait. Let me walk a bit here. <laughs> Are you great mountain before you rub a bend, you shall become a plain. A I dare you, devil. I say, I dare you, devil. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, the battle is over. Jesus, thank you, Papa. And the person thank you, Papa. who orchestrated it, Jesus. the Sangoma, Jesus. who executed it, Jesus. his assistant, Jesus. who helped in the matter, today I stand as the servant of the living God. Jesus. Mm. The devil, Satan, mm. and all you are collided. Yes. Your reign of terror ends now. It's over. It ends now. now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I rebuke you. Mm. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. I stretch my hands towards you. I decree and declare witchcraft will never work on you. In the name of Jesus. I say witchcraft will never work in your life. In the name of Jesus. Now. Look, look this, look this. The, the, your daughter told you about what had happened at work. Her colleague said, you will see what I will do. I'll go to a witch doctor or pay money so that I mess you up. She told you before you began to see it happen. And the church has been praying, I just say. The pastor's been praying. been praying. And if God will reveal it today, it's because God is saying step forward. It, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. You are here. My name is Alfredo Kao. Oh, yes! Can you hire Hala three times? Fire, fire, fire. You see, witchcraft exists mm -hmm. and is evil. Mm -hmm. It hurts many people, but it does not have power in the lives of children of God who know their God. Mm. The reason why I say children of God who know their God is because ignorance is a weapon in the hand of the devil. Yes. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. knowledge. Witchcraft 
will never work on you. I receive it. It will not work against your health, in the against name of your Jesus. family, against your finances, Amen. against your work, Amen. against your relationship. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Bring your daughter. This is the step forward. Thank you, Jesus. This I can pray there, but I say I prayed already. Let her come and touch the altar. You see what will happen. And uh, your son, uh, uh, you call him Sian or Sean? Sian. You know? I don't know if Sian or Sian. Sean. Well, uh, uh, come, come. Hi, we are closing. Please stand up and lift your hand. If you see me going to prophesy, I can hold me. Say, Papa, there's best service. You are handsome. You are intelligent, and your future is bright. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They call him Sian. Sian is Sean. Sian. S E A N. Sian, Sean, Sia. Please stand up. You cannot be in and out. You cannot be touching, and sometimes you're not there. You must consistently be on your altar. There is a responsibility on your head, not only for your own life and the destiny that the Lord has drawn for you, but for your family. For you to succeed, son, hear me and hear me good. You gotta be focused on the altar. Without with your sister, your sister's attack is beyond what mommy said. Three souls that combined are forces against your sister. One was at work, as Olimbro Park. Two was a former relationship she was involved in. That boyfriend was evil. That boyfriend was into witchcraft. Are you hearing me? Three is where she is now. Not everybody at home likes you. Not everybody wants you well. So you must understand that every one of you is under an attack of the enemy, but we do not fear the enemy. Yes, oh, yes. Hear me? You will begin to scare the things that used to scare you. I was saying that. If it is you I'm speaking to, make your Holy Ghost crazy noise to God. I was I am blessing you. Sian, Sean, lift your hand. You want to work in the shop or you want to work some, somewhere else? Uh, do you want to get a job in the shop or yes. do you want to get a job somewhere else? I used to work at Macro, Papa. I know where you used to work. You used to work in my Macro. Is a shop. So you want a job in the shop or you want me to pray oh, for something okay. else? Choose, choose. You can become a president now. Choose. I was just looking for a job. Looking for a job fast, 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 fast. What do you, what do you want? I want the job somewhere. Oh, I'm lost. But somewhere. I applied, applied for, for, for no, the no, no, no. Leave it. I see. It. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight applications. I see your application. I'm asking. I see you in the shop. Let go quickly. It's a blank check. Where do you want to work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I applied Say it. for head office in, in Masmat, Papa. I applied for head office, macro uh, head office. Uh, yes, uh, head office. I applied for head office in Masmat. Three post. That's what you want. Yes. That's what I you get. That. Receive it. Hallelujah. From Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Follow up, call them. Say, I'm waiting for my job. I did already oh, everything. Yes. When are you calling me? Are you hearing me? Yes. And you go and get your job. Lift your hands. Receive up. it. In the name of Jesus. Name Thank of Jesus. You, Jesus. Everybody lift your hands as high as you can get. Lift your hands and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. Somebody lift your hands.
thank the Lord for what just happened. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Somebody begin to thank Him for the blood. There is an extraordinary power released today. May the devil that has tormented you until today pack and go in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody just begin to pray and thank the Lord for the power of God that was released. That is at work in your life right now. The power of God shall work for you. The power of the devil cannot work against you anymore. Just because you come into the house of God. Because you came to touch the altar. Your life has made a new turn. I just said your life has made a new turn. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that the eyes of the Lord is on somebody today. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I know the eyes of the Lord is on somebody. If I'm speaking to you, somebody pull it down. Father, we bless you. Merciful God, faithful Savior, we honor you, Jehovah. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your divine presence. Thank you for the power of God. Thank you above all for your servant, O oh God, the message. Lord, we have received him. Thank you, Lord, for the weapon. We have received him, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the sign. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the visitation. We have received him as you have anointed him. Now, Lord, under the supreme anointing of my Father, I bless your Monday. I say I bless your Monday. I bless your Tuesday. I bless your Wednesday. I bless your Thursday. I bless your Friday. I bless your Saturday and Sunday. This is an outstanding week in the life of AMI. Wednesday coming, this place is packed. The place is packed. In fact, we need an overflow. We are celebrating the life of the greatest prophet alive. Celebrate Jesus. We still have a third service where I know the fire of God will go all over the auditorium where you are. The fire of God will reach you too. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom, 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 family all across the globe. We are Agnes and Marinas from AMI Netherlands. We would like you to come to the IVP, the International Visitors Program in Johannesburg, South Africa. Come and meet the God of our spiritual father, the great apostle Alf Luca, the prophet of the nations. The IVP starts on October 25th. So October 29th, come and get your healing. Come and get your breakthrough. If you suffer from uncurable disease like cancer, like high blood pressure, HIV, or if you are in the wheelchair, or if you are blind in any sickness, whatsoever, come. This is the month of unusual miracles. Come and experience the power of God. You will receive your breakthrough. You will receive your healing. The God of our spiritual father, the great apostle of Luca, will change your morning into dancing. Come and let the Holy Spirit take control. Come and receive your financial breakthrough. Come to this IVP and you will receive your deliverance through the presence of the God of our spiritual father, great apostle of Luca. Come and register at See, See you soon. soon. Shalom. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune in to our next broadcast. Stay blessed.